guys, today I am here um, outside of my garage working on a fun little do-it-yourself project. Uh, I got this sweet little bookshelf that you can't see, but you will see in a second. Um, I found it at a thrift store for $25. It was really cheap. Um, the shape of it is amazing, but it's not in the best condition. The paint is kind of chipping. So I decided that I'm going to paint it to match my living room, and I thought that I would bring you guys along to show you how I am going to do it myself. So um, make sure that you're wearing junky clothes that you don't care if they get painted and make sure that you're doing it in a well-ventilated area because there's going to be a lot of dust and paint fumes involved. So um, with that said, let's get started. So first you're going to need to gather your supplies. You're going to need a roller and a pan and then some extra rollers, a paintbrush, some blue painting tape, and sandpaper. Then you're going to need your paint. I have a primer a light seafoam color and a dark seafoam color. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your 100 grit sandpaper and this is going to be your coarsest grit of sandpaper and you're just going to go over your whole shelf. Um, you just want to make sure that you kind of sand off all of the shiny veneer that's going to be over the top. I guess it's not a veneer, it's it's a a coating or a sealant that is on the wood so this kind of opens up the wood and makes sure that the paint really sticks and it's not going to chip if you accidentally bump it or whatever it's just going to give you a better coat so make sure you get all of the surfaces that you are going to paint now I'm not going to do the very very back wall of this bookcase because the back wall is actually just stained and the finish is pretty rough so the paint's going to stick to it pretty well also be sure if you have any chips to um, get those. So next I'm going to take a wet paper towel or cloth and just wipe off all of the sanding so that the paint doesn't stick to it. So now I'm going to take one and a half inch blue painter's tape and I'm masking off all of the parts that I don't want to be painted. Now you don't have to cover totally the parts you don't want painted, just be really careful. If you're not a careful painter, you can always cover those parts with newspapers, but I'm just masking the ends so that I get a really sharp end between the wood and the paint. Now I'm going to take my primer, and this is actually just the primer that I used on my walls. This is all latex based paint, um, and I'm just going to prime all of the spots that I'm going to be painting. You really do need a good coat of primer just to make sure that the dark color of the wood doesn't come through the paint. It really helps to make sure that your finish is really smooth and that there's no flaws in it. It also helps to kind of fill in any scratches or cracks. If you have any big divots, you can fill those with putty. Um, but I don't have anything in here. So make sure it's dry. It takes usually about two to three hours. And then you're gonna take your 150 grit sandpaper and just go over it just like you did the last time. Just make sure that if you have any kind of lumps or bumps in the paint or any kind of like over painting that you get those all sanded out so that the finish is nice and smooth. Get all of the sides. Again, I'm not doing the very back um, of the bookshelf because the finish is pretty good and I didn't have any lumps or bumps in the paint that needed to be fixed. So make sure again to take a damp towel and wipe off all of the dust before you start painting. It really helps the paint to adhere to make sure all of that dust is gone. So you're going to take your paint, again this is the same color that I painted my walls in my house because I want the shelf to match. And right now I'm just going to cut in the edges which means I'm just using the paintbrush to get the edges that the roller can't get. So you can see I'm just getting the corners and the edges. Now I'm going to take my roller, and this is a smaller roller. It's useful um, to get a smaller one for these kind of projects because the bigger rollers carry a lot of paint and they're also too wide to get into small spaces. So just make sure you evenly roll the entire shelf except for the back walls because on the back walls you're going to take this little paintbrush and you're going to cut in the edges just like you did on the other part of the shelf and um, I just like to use a darker color on the inside because it's a good accent. These are both of the colors that I have in my living room as accent colors. Um, it just kind of, it's not a, a huge difference, but it's really cute to do something a little bit different on the back wall of the shelf. You can do lighter, you can do darker. You can actually cover the whole shelf with paint if you want. You don't have to leave the wood pieces like I have. It's just my preference. So cover the back with your roller. Make sure you don't drip any like I just did. I don't know if you guys saw that. Um, and then when you are done covering the back, you want to let it dry. And I actually let it dry overnight because 
the sun started going down. So day two, I bring my rollers back and you can put them in plastic bags. Make sure that the black bags are sealed and then you can use them the next day. Make sure also that the uh, shelf is dry. And then you're gonna go back over it with that same 150 grit sandpaper just like you did with the primer. You wanna do this in between each coat of paint just to make sure that you don't have any gobs of paint and that this uh, finish is really smooth. Again, you're going to go over with the towel, make sure all the dust is gone, and then you're just going to go back just like you did before and repaint. Now if you sand too hard on any of these edges, you're going to take the paint right off. So be really careful on the edges when you're sanding. You're going to want to give the flat surfaces a harder sanding than the edges or the corners. Um, this is how you use a roller. <laughs> uh, so just use the roller. Um, once I've gotten the first couple of coats on, I do less of the cutting in and more just with the roller because the edges are going to be a little bit darker from the paint and um, paint brushes tend to deposit more paint than a roller anyways. And then on this back wall, I'm just going to use the paintbrush for the whole thing on this second coat because the finish is going to be awesome anyways. So when it's all dry, carefully peel your uh, tape back and there might be some over painting as there is here. You can just take a straight edge razor and just kind of um, cut away the little extras that you have if you need to. It's really hard to get pa uh, tape to stick completely flat so chances are you're going to have a little bit of over paint but it's not the end of the world. But be really careful when you pull this tape off that you get every last piece because it really really likes to stick there in the corners. So. If you have nice fingernails, I suggest getting somebody that doesn't to do this part of the job. So this is the finished shelf, so you just want to clean it up a little bit. I'm just cleaning up the wood part that's all dusty. And then there it is with all my stuff on it. I hope you guys like this. Let me know if you want to see any more DIY and thank you guys for watching.